Ah, but I digress, for this is not how the story begins. In fact, Lyra's journey properly starts in the town of Oxford at Jordan College. I can't wait till he gets here, Pan. He's been gone for so long, I can hardly remember what he looks like. Do you think he'll bring us that walrus tusk he always promises? I want to hear about all the experiments he's been doing. I bet he's seen witches and scralings and all sorts of things. Do you think he'll take us with him when he leaves this time? About as much chance as him bringing the walrus tusk, I suppose. Don't say that, Pan. I bet he will take us. And we'll go on all sorts of adventures. We go on all sorts of adventures here, Lyra. Lyra Balakwa! No more games now, it's time for your bath! Uh oh, Mrs. Lonsdale. Shh. We can sneak out onto the roof before she comes in. I can't understand why Mrs. Lonsdale always thinks we need a bath. This might come in handy. As soon as I figure out which key opens this door, you're gonna get it! If we're going to leave, we should make sure we have everything we need. What was I thinking, putting my marbles all the way up there? Maybe you could throw something up there and knock them down. trying to go out that window. You know, you should really consider letting Mrs. Lonsdale give you a bath one of these times. Ha! No mere window can hold Lyra Balacqua. The fastest way to get rid of that girl is to bring out the sponge. It's safe. Let's get going. Ah, that looks nice. I just received word that Lord Asriel will be arriving in a few moments. Ah, yes. This is all moving along far too quickly for my liking. Is there anything we can do? No. The events are already in motion. Come then. We have much to do in precious little time. Israel's photogram equipment is ready in the retiring room. But I feel like I'm forgetting something. Did you remember the toke? <gasps> Lord Asriel's favorite drink. I forgot to tell the butler. You'd forget your head if it wasn't already attached. Anyways, the steward is responsible for all Lord Asriel's requests today. Wait a minute. Isn't the butler supposed to handle everything? Right. But you know the steward. Always trying to make the butler look bad in front of the master. Those two pompous... Why am I standing around talking to you? I'd better catch the steward. 
I just saw him walking towards the courtyard. Hurry up. Lord Asriel's almost here. What do you think he means? I don't know, but I don't like hanging around out here. Come on, Lyra. We should keep moving. Thank you very much. I've been looking for one of these. You keep Salsilia busy, Pam. I'll go get Roger. I saw a gobbler last night. No, you didn't. No one's seen him. Well, I did. What did they look like? You can't tell. They wear long capes with hoods to hide their faces. Then how do you know they was gobblers? Nice one! Right, that's not very funny. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, they kind of have this walk, and it's hard to describe, but you'd know them if you saw them. What was the gobblers doing? They were searching for kids to gobble. They spied Egyptian girl by herself, but before they could chase her, I threw a rock. Bang! It hit the leader. After that, they disappeared quick as a wink. You weren't scared those gobblers might come after you instead? Nope. I ain't scared of much. Not Mrs. Lonsdale. Not gobblers. Not night ghasts. You ain't never seen a night ghast. You would told me if you did. Well, I wouldn't be scared if I did see one. Good job! What's that? Who's up there? <laughs> <laughs> What's that zeppelin doing? Is it gonna land here? Why would they come right to the college instead of the big landing dock in Oxford? It must be someone important on board. Maybe it's a king! It ain't no king. It could be! I'd have heard if it were a king coming to visit. Not much happens here I don't know about. Good job! That had better not be Lyra. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. Then who's in that Zeppelin? I guess we'd better find out. Ow! Hey, stop it! Ouch! The Tanners! Celia, come on! Hurry, Roger! Dear, that the only way you think you can beat us? Setting an ambush while we're eating? <laughs> I didn't think the mighty Lyra would even notice a few shingles and cans. Maybe you should have had your boyfriend protect you. You take that back. It's okay, Lyra. They're just scared about what's going to happen to them in this game. That so? Since you guys laid the challenge, it's only fair that we pick the game, right? We choose cat and hare. Then you two got to be the rabbits. Cause I ain't running from no one. That's okay. Ain't no way a girl's gonna catch us anyway. And we're playing by Jordan College rules. So that means if either of you rabbits can reach this here weather vane without being tagged, your team wins a point. But if we cats tag both of you, we win the point. First team to three points then. Right. Laura does the counting and we start the hunt at 20. See you losers later. All right, Laura, start counting. Twenty. Gotcha. Woohoo. One. Twenty.
20. You tanners remember this, and don't come poking around our rooftops lest we give you the okay. Good game. You're awful fast, Lyra. You're going to be at the battle against the Egyptians on Thursday? Of course we are. Wouldn't miss it. What should we do now? I got an idea. Come on, Lyra. You ever been inside that special room the Master has, right near the big dining hall? The retiring room? No. They just go in there to discuss boring stuff. I ain't interested. I heard that's where they keep all the treasure they find from expeditions all over the world. Where'd you hear that? I don't remember, but I heard it. You think it's true? I bet it is. We should go and see what's in there. Well, come on then. You know, I've never actually gone down that way before. It's easy, Roger. Watch. <laughs> see? It's easy. I don't know. I got work I gotta do in the kitchen. Don't be scared, Roger. You can tell me about it later, okay? All right. I'll see you after dinner. I knew we could do it. <laughs> Top notch, if I do say so myself. Hello there. Hi. You must be Azriel's niece. Lyra, yes? Who are you? I'm an old friend of your uncle. Would you like to hear a secret, Lyra? What is it? I bet you already know this, but you're a very important girl. 
Even the witches have heard of you. But I ain't never met any witches. How would they know about me? You'll find out soon enough. Now, if you'll excuse me, I do hope to speak to you again sometime soon. I could use one of these. Everyone looks so busy. What's going on? Lyra, please. The Master's guests will be arriving soon. I know. Lord Asriel is making a presentation to the scholars. Lord Asriel has returned. I wish I could listen in on some of the stories, but I'm so busy. You have so much to do. That's not fair. I know. I could help. You know young ladies aren't allowed inside there. If the master needed your help, he would have told the butler to open the door. Now scoot! One of these might come in handy. Pardon me, Master. Lyra, shouldn't you be getting cleaned up? Where's Mrs. Lonsdale? Mrs. Lonsdale said there was an important guest coming and sent me down to see if I could be of any help. That's kind of you, dear. But I'm preparing for a meeting with your uncle. He's returned from the north, and I fear he's in a bit of an aggressive mood. I overheard my uncle say he likes a certain kind of toke. I thought it would be nice if he had some since he's travelled so far. You might have a point. I'll ask the steward to decant a bottle of toke and send it straight to Lord Azerold's quarters. Much better than leaving it for him in the retiring room.
Oh, look at that. Lyra, would you like me to tell your future? I'd love it. Yes, please. I see you taking this and running along upstairs so we can get our work done. Which one will work best? Lyra, I'm sorry, but we must be quick. I have business to attend to. What you said earlier, about the witches, and about me being important. Can you tell me more? Young lady, that's a much more involved conversation than we could have now. Have you seen your uncle yet? I haven't seen him anywhere, but I'm sure he'll come see me after he speaks with the master. Don't worry, child. I doubt he'll keep you waiting too much longer. In the meantime, perhaps this will tide you over. I thought we're down to six cases of Toke. Which one will work best? Hello there, Lyra. Any interesting gossip to share? Of course. Did you know that the Master's special visitor tonight is actually my Uncle Asriel? Oh, excellent. The kitchen staff will be interested to hear that. Thank you. I need something. Fast. Oh, the grand old Duke of York. Oh, the grand old Duke of York. He had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. As busy as everyone else is, I'm Careful, even Lyra. more so. I hear the goblins are luring mean? children away I've with gold. I've been looking all over for you. Do you have the key to the retiring room? Of course I do. But I'm not about to use it without a good reason from the master. And certainly not at the behest of an impish young lady. Now scoot! We need to get him away from that bottle pan. Well, there is that pitcher of water over his... Why am I giving you these ideas? I... What? Of all the... Where did that come from? Oh, I can't imagine it would put a pitcher of water up there. I mean, just waiting to fall down on someone. As much as I don't like this, I must admit it's working out rather well. Now we just need the butler to take it into the retiring room. Might as well finish what we started. Let's go talk to the butler. Oh, look at that. Did you see where the steward went? I most certainly did not. And what do you need him for anyway? He was supposed to serve a special bottle to my uncle. But you wouldn't be interested. The brigand. It's my job to prepare any special arrangements for the guests.
Toke is my uncle's favourite, and the steward didn't finish pouring it or anything. He just left it in the serving station. Toke, you say? I do remember Lord Asriel being very fond of that label. It would be a shame to make him wait for it. That was the other problem. The steward was going to take the bottle up to my uncle Asriel's room, but he won't be back in his room until later. Yes, indeed. That fool steward. I'll show him. So, my dear, do you know where the toke should be delivered? What if it was waiting for him in the retiring room? I bet he'd like to have it during the meeting. Yes, the retiring room. It would be much better if the toke were waiting for Lord Asriel there. Thank you, Lyra. You've helped me a great deal. Lyra, is Pantalaemon still able to change form? Why? Is he not supposed to? I'd heard some awful stories about children's demons, and I wonder if that may have something to do with it. Ah, uh, Lyra. I could use one of these. Hello there, young lady. Are you lost? No, sir. The master sent me out to collect any extra items that might be of use to the college. What a fantastic idea! I have just the thing here. Lyra? The Oblation Board's latest treatise is quite an excellent read. Perhaps, but I'm uncomfortable with the direction of their newest work. I overheard a few of your conversations, young lady. You've been quite busy. I didn't mean any... No, no, don't fret. I won't tell anyone. I was just wondering if the butler had already placed the toque in the retiring room. I don't have to tell you anything. <laughs> of course not. Oh, and Lyra, do keep our little chat here to yourself. I know you're good at lying, so that shouldn't be too hard, should it? Ugh, that guy really gives me the creeps, Pan. Pan, will you concentrate? Now's our chance. What's this for? Looks like it's a none of your business type of thing. Are you sure you want to do this? Ah, oh, that looks nice. Ooh, pretty. This one's nice. Turn the 
projector off or they'll know someone was here. Quick, Lyra! Into the wardrobe. Ah. Lord Ezreal. Master, gentlemen, I'll get straight to the point. As some of you are aware, this photogram was taken at the Magnetic North Pole in Svalbard, Kingdom of the Ice Bears. Lord Asriel, is that light rising up from the man's body or coming uh, no, down? No, that's, that's coming down from the sky, but that's not light. It's dust. Dust? How on earth shall you provide the energy? I shall break the unbreakable. I will not have my niece slithering round like an alley cat. You're not very grateful, are you? Which one will work best? Is this how you spent your time here at the college? Sneaking into private rooms? No, Uncle. The only reason I went in there is because I was worried that Fra Pavel might try to do something awful. Normally I behave myself, I promise. Yes, I'm sure you do, child. You've been minding Mrs. Lonsdale as well, I hope. She's been tasked with paying special attention to you. I mind what Mrs. Lonsdale says. Mostly. I try not to cause too much trouble. Good to hear. It's important to know which adults have your best interests at heart. Speaking of which, you know I'm leaving again soon. I want you to take me with you. I could be your assistant. I'm a quick learner, and I can help with all sorts of things. No, Lyra. Now's not the time. You'd make anyone a great assistant, but if you left Jordan College now, the results could be disastrous. Best that you stay here. I just hate to see you go, Uncle. I wish there was a way we could spend more time together. I have a very difficult journey ahead of me, Lyra. And where I'm going is no place for a child. You'll see me again when the time is right. Now, before I go, I did bring you something I've been promising. I almost wish that I could have told Lyra that these were her last days at Jordan College and that her time with Roger was coming to an end. She could have said her goodbyes and perhaps prepared more for her coming journeys. But then how could she have prepared? How could she have prepared for the new relationships in her life and the new responsibilities she would gain? What's this? An alethiometer. It tells the truth. It is of the utmost importance. Mrs. Coulter does not know that you have it. Do you understand me? Of the utmost importance. 